Welcome back to another episode of Ballin' With, guys. Today we will be going over the NBA Mock Draft 2023. The draft is actually tomorrow. Everything is heading up, gearing up for the big uh, announcements of who's the new players in the faces of the league. Uh, before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more sport news, sport highlights, and anything in the sport industry. Um, let's dive right on into it. We all know Victor Wimbiana, one of the greatest prospects of all time, is number one to the San Antonio Spurs, which is crazy, baffles me. Tim Duncan, David Robinson, Victor Wimby. Um, uh, it's just, you know, that is generational talent at the center position for one particular team. They will go down in history for um, the center position. Uh, for number two, this the score has Scott Henderson of G League at night uh, as the number two. And some people have Brandon Miller, and these two flip flop two and three. I can see either way. Uh, I haven't really looked that much into these players, um, you know, highlights and everything. Uh, so we're just I'm going off of the names and we're going to read them off today. Uh, Amen Thompson, guard, Houston uh, Rockets. Um, the Pistons are in gear for the guy from Houston. Jarris Walker, he did pretty good in the uh, NCAA tournament. Um, Cam Whitmore from Villanova, I think I remember him from the tournament as well. Uh, Pacers at number seven. Arthur Thompson, another forward. Um, and it's pretty cool to see that, you know, not just NCAA, you got the G League, you got uh, overtime, you got uh, overseas players. So it's crazy that um, it's different ways for uh, uh, to play basketball in um, the league nowadays versus, you know, football is just straight from college. Um, and this is actually helping the players that play basketball in college or the young players to to receive the NIL deals. Um, and that's why a lot of players were branching off in the past recent years to get paid so they didn't have to go to college and not get paid. But now the NCAA allows it. So now they see uh, the talent pool drain from college to the you know over uh overseas or overtime or the g league so it's different ways that you know a player can get paid while still making it to the league um so you know bet on yourself while you can don't just go to the ncaa and try to go think that's the best way to go to the nba um but there's other ways um utah jazz has four from ucf dallas mavericks the center from duke i think he's pretty cool um they looking for big guys Lando Magic, Grady Dick, who's a shooter from Kansas. He was definitely a spot-on shooter. I think that would be a good pick for Magic. Um, Balu Kaluubi, uh, Metropolitans. I think this is the same team as the Beyonce team. Yep. Uh, so, you know, he's playing with one of the greater prospects, and he's um, getting those looks as well. Kaysen Wallace, uh, Jordan Hawkins, UConn for Pelicans, uh, Keontae George, Baylor's guard for the Hawks, Arkansas's Nick Smith guard for uh, the Jazz, which is a pretty good pickup, Kobe Bufkin, Michigan's guard, um, Ryan Ruppert, New England Breakers for Miami Heat, Jet Howard, Michigan for Warriors, Rockets, Derek Whitehead, he was actually a pretty good pickup. He's a baller, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Brooklyn Nets, guard. Uh, Nets again, another forward. Trailblazers, Chris Murray from Iowa. Leonard Miller, Kobe Jones, Brennan Podzeskmiski, Santa Clara. Uh, Hornets with another player. Um, Maxwell Lewis, Pepperdine, I think he was a pretty good player. Uh, Noah Clowney from Alabama. He was shining behind Brandon Miller. Ben Shepard, Belmont for the Clippers. Um, so this is a pretty good uh, what is it, mock draft. Yeah, and it's crazy to me. You know, NBA only got 12 players. It's only two draft rounds of draft. I like the NFL draft a lot more. It's a lot more players. But this is, you know, should hone in on who's actually good and who's not. Um, but we all know the consensus is uh, Wimbiana will should be the face of the draft. Let me comment any guys you like uh, that are sleepers. Uh, we're, we'll be posting more videos this week, guys. Like, comment, subscribe again. And catch you guys next week on the next episode. Ballin' With out.